But uh, if a black man go out in the sun, he get dark. That's what happened to Christ. Christ was a brown man who got dark. So my question is, why don't she hate her people? That don't make sense, dude. Cause she said he look like he stank, bro. Think about that, bro. She looked like the image of a black man. They say he like he stank. That don't make sense, dude. Give me Psalms 15 and 2. Give me Psalms 15 and 2. Because he's the greatest nation on the earth, bro. That's right. You think white people look as good as we do? No, bro. They they are fight all day, bro. They look like us. They are sick in a in a in a contraption, bro. That's supposed to give out sun rays to burn they skin, bro. They look like us. They killing themselves, bro. They get more skin cancer than anybody, bro. To look like us. That's right. But she want to look like them. Read. Read out. Psalms chapter fifty, verse two. Read. Out of Zion. Out of who? Out of Zion. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native American. That's Zion, bro. What are you gonna say? The perfection of beauty. What? The perfection of beauty. So where do white people come from? Why she don't like her, what she look like? God said the perfection of beauty is us. That's what? Right. Free. God has shined. Hello. Who? God has shined. Oh my God, bro. God made us like that, bro. God made us the most beautiful thing on the earth, bro. That's right. But she want to follow the white man. Give me Proverbs 3, 3, 3 1. Bring it up. But that don't make sense, bro. That means she disrespect all of us out here, bro. If she disrespect Christ, bro, she disrespect all of us, bro. Bring it up. Yo, you ain't get that? Read that. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Listen to this. Listen to this. And be thou not the oppressor. Hold on, what? And be thou not the oppressor. She wanted 30 cents from the white Jesus, bro. He don't exist. God promised us the earth, bro. But we wanted to break his laws. Now we at the bottom of society. Now they saying we monkeys, niggas, and spicks. Free. And choose none of his way. Do what? And choose none of his way. We shouldn't be trying to follow out these white people. Because God made us perfect, bro. But we didn't like that. Why? Why didn't we like that? Because our laws was too strict? Our laws was too strange? That don't make sense. He separated us from everybody else on the planet. Yeah. Why wouldn't we want to stand alone? That's what everybody else want to do. The Chinese want to be the greatest. The white people want to be the greatest. Why we want to be like everybody else? That don't make sense, dude. Give me wisdom Psalm 13 3. Bring it out. Bring it out. Give me wisdom Psalm 13 3. Listen to this, sis. Because, okay, you missed the earlier part. The sister, she hate black Christ. Think about this, sis. Think about that. Then you come from a black man. That's an image of your father right there. That's right. So she disrespect him. She disrespect you, your father, your forefathers, all of them. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, Christ, all the disciples. She disrespect her whole nation. She ain't even know. It. Read. With the Solomon, chapter 13, verse 3. Listen to this, With those beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be God. I'll read that again from the top. With those, with whose beauty? With who? With whose beauty? Read. If they being delighted, took them to be gods. Think about that, sis. They said with our beauty, sis. They took us to be gods. Think about that, sis. The people that at the bottom of society, they said they looked at how we look, sis. And they took us to be gods. Why are we at the bottom? Read. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. Hold on, what? Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. Our God is better than all these other people's gods. That's right. They gods was created. They created them themselves. Look at that black man on the side right there. That's not what he actually looked like, but that's the depiction out of the Bible. Out of Revelation. Free. For the first author of beauty. Hold on, who? For the first author of beauty. The man who said, let that be light. He was the first author of beauty. He created us in his image. That's right. You don't, you don't think he looked good? You don't think he feel like he look good? Free. For the first of their beauty uh -huh. have created them. He what? Have created them. So think about this, sis. If he created us in his image, why would he want us to follow what everybody else look like? Yeah. The East Indian man don't look like God. Right. The white man don't look like God. Right. right. So why do we want to follow what they look like? Well, you know. Let me ask you a question, sis. Do your hair grow straight like that? Mm -hmm. Give me revelations again. Give me the relationship one again. Then give me Daniel 7. Because sis, your natural hair is beautiful, sis. That's right. The white man try to put an image in your head that you're not beautiful, sis. That's not true. You understand what we're going over, bro? Earlier today, we got disrespected by a woman. Saying that basically, black people are ugly. Right. That's not according to the Bible. 
That's right. Bro. You look at all these black people out here, bro. We might be at the bottom, bro. We still the greatest nation on earth. That's, That's right. right. Read that. Read up. Do, you, do the whites in your eyes turn red? That's the description of praise. Read. And it's feet like a defined bread. So sis, when you wear sandals, right? Ain't your, ain't your feet the same color as your face? So they said saying that Christ's feet was like fine brass. That mean it was brown. How brown was his feet? As if they burned in the furnace. And what? As if they burned in the furnace. Sis, what happened to brown skinned people when they go out in the sun? They get darker, right? Uh -huh. They get dark. So why do they point, well, why do they paint that white boy? Where did he come from, sis? That don't make sense, dude. But we have a sister who come from that, come from that lineage right there. She hate herself and her people. To want the white boy more than her own people. That don't make sense, dude. Mm. But since you wanna know why we like that, you wanna know why we think like that? Do you know why we think like that? We ain't got no knowledge. What's the knowledge? That's the, that's the issue. Because we go to school all the time. Black women are the most educated people on the planet. So, why are we still in this condition? Bring it out. Because we got the white man books down. We can, we can smash that. Right. So what's the knowledge that we missing? Do you know? Brother with that. Do you know what the knowledge we missing? Say it one more time. What's the knowledge that we're missing? Like, why do we, why do we hate ourselves? Mm, no. Give me right. Deuteronomy 2815 right here. Then give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. We don't know who we are. That's a great point. Because if you knew you was the greatest person on earth, bro, you wouldn't hate yourself. Right. Cause nobody at the top wanna be at the bottom. That's 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 a, that's a given. Right. Read that. I don't hate myself, dude. I don't hate myself. I'm gonna show you something right quick. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. So he said it's gonna come to pass. That means it's gonna happen in the future. This was Moses giving us the basis, the, the good and the bad of the, 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 the covenant that we made with the most high God. Because we agreed that we was gonna keep his laws. Read. If thou were not hearken. Until the voice of the Lord thy God. So he said, and we didn't listen to the voice of God. This is the voice of God. When he gave his commandments, that was his voice. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. All what? All his commandments. So we had to keep his commandments, read. And his statutes. So the commandments was the big dogs, right? Then you had the statutes, that's what up underneath. The commandments, read. Which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he said, and we didn't want to listen to his laws, Curses was going to happen to us, right, sis? Give me verse 32. Verse, 30, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Because the first thing off, off, off the top, who's going to teach your daughter that she's beautiful? Her parents, right? No, read it again. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So she given to another people that hate her, right? If, if, if another nation will take us, take kids from their parents, they hate them. You think they're going to tell your daughter that she's beautiful? You think they're going to tell your son that he's smart? It's not going to happen. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Read. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So, we was in a situation where we couldn't get our kids back. Because it's... I can tell you right now, some of our family live other places. We got family other places that we don't even know exist. They sold our people off. They was teaching our people, don't, don't love yourself, love us. Everything that we do to y'all, just, just let it ride, it's okay. God Bring loves us all. That's not according to the Bible. Right. We can read now. We can go in this book and tell, oh, that's lies. Read. And there shall be no might in thine head. Uh -huh. Read, give me verse uh, 37. Give me verse 37. Verse 37. Uh -huh. And thou shalt become an establishment, uh -huh. a proverb, uh -huh. and a bad word. Uh -huh. And a bad word. So, they call us African American, right? But that what, what you put on your application, African American? Mm -hmm. Read it again. And thou shalt become an establishment, uh -huh. a proverb, and a bad word. So, God told us we was going to lose who we, was, who, who we are. According to the Bible says you from the tribe of Judah. According to the Bible, you from the tribe of Judah. That's the same tribe Christ come from. That's right. Okay, so if she disrespect Christ, Christ come from the same tribe you come from. What's she talking about, y'all? That's the same tribe you come from. He said we was gonna lose our names, bro. Called a bite word. They call us niggas, jigaboos, porch monkeys. Right. Where they come from? We the greatest people on the earth, bro. That's, That's right. Free. Right. Among all nations. Uh -huh. Whither the Lord shall lead thee. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. Because it was our heritage that we was the greatest people on the earth. 
it was our heritage that we was the, the best looking people on earth. Think about it, look at all these other, like the other nations, right? They wear our fashion. But they teach us that we was butt naked and swinging from trees when they got us from Africa, right? So why y'all wearing our stuff? It don't make sense, dude. All the stuff that we had in our temple, all that gold, all that jewelry. Think about it, bro. King Solomon was decked out, bro, from head to toe. Why they do that today? You don't never see them Arabs, they be flossing on it. They, they acting like us. Free. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. Think about this. Think about how heavy this is. Jeremiah was the prophet of God, wasn't he? He told Jeremiah, bro, he wrote a book in the Bible. He said, even you, Jeremiah, you're going to lose your nationality. You're going to lose your heritage. All of us lost our heritage, bro. We ain't standing up here like we never went through this, bro. Somebody had to teach me who I was. Right. Somebody had to teach these men out here who they was. That's, That's why we out here teaching y'all. That's free. Right. That I gave thee, uh -huh. and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. So he said, we was going to lose who we were. We are going to lose our heritage that he gave us, bro. All the other nations, they came up with their own stuff, bro. Think about that, bro. We got our heritage from the power, bro. That's, That's right. right. The, the one that said, let there be light. Think about that, bro. You wouldn't see nothing out here, bro, if he didn't say, let there be light. Think about it, bro. He gave us our heritage, bro. The laws in the Bible, bro, that's ours. Read. In the land which thou knowest not. So we had to serve slavery, bro. That's why we lost all that, bro. If we was keeping God's laws, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be going through this right now, bro. We wouldn't have to ask everybody out here, what's your nationality? We wouldn't have to ask that. If we was keeping God's laws, read. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger. So we made God mad. Sis, you got kids? When they make you mad, do you, do you punish them? That's what God did to us. But think about that. Think about how great we had to be, sis. He said, one of y'all punish me, I'm gonna take my name off y'all. Cause you named after your father, right? Mm -hmm. Think about that. He had to take out, take his name off of us. He took his name off of us, sis. Bring it He's out. Isaiah 65, too. We disobeyed him so much, sis. He said, I don't even want y'all called by my name no more. Think about this, sis. Read that. Isaiah chapter 65. Verse 15. Uh -huh. Bring it out. And ye shall leave your name, your your name for a curse. Read it again. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. So what was our name before that? Before we had a curse put on us, sis. He said we was gonna leave our name for a curse. Because we was breaking his laws. That's Think right. about that, sis. We didn't want to stop lying. We didn't want to marry our sisters. We didn't want to deal right in business. That don't that sound crazy, don't it? That sound like, why would you do that? Mm -hmm. We went into slavery, sis, for simple things like that. It's not simple to God, but when you when you look at the scope of things, to not lie, that don't seem like that's that hard, is it? To, to take care of your family, that don't seem like it's that hard, dude. That's what we went into slavery for, bro. Because we didn't love each other. Read. And ye shall leave your name for a curse uh, unto my chosen. Read. For the Lord God shall slay thee, uh, and call his servants by another name. He gonna call what? His servants by another name. We are his servants, sis. We the ones that are supposed to keep his laws. We the ones who are supposed to go out into the nation and teach them, hey, you ain't supposed to be doing this. Right. God said, live like this. You ain't supposed to be doing that. Right. What you doing with that pork on your plate? Get that off your plate. We don't eat that. Mm -hmm. That's what we were supposed to do as his servants. But what was the name that he took from us, sis? Do you know? What was the name? Yeah, that, that is. What was our last name? Hmm? We didn't have one. We didn't have one? I'm going to give it to you out the Bible. Give me uh, Genesis 32. Bring it up. I'm going to give it to you out the Bible, sis, because the name that we was given, sis, got power behind it. That's why, that's why the other nations don't want us to change our names back to what it was. Listen to this. Genesis chapter 32, verse 28. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. So he said to our forefathers. The, the 12 names on that sign right there, that his father, their father was Jacob. So he said his name should be called no more Jacob, read. But Israel, but, who? but Israel. But listen to this, sis. Our last name is supposed to be Israel. That's a prophecy in the Bible. Once we get back to knowing who we are, we're going to go back and change our names back to what it's supposed to be. That's right. Read. What, what that name mean? For as a prince. For who? For as a prince. So the name Israel mean, for as a prince, read. Has the power with God. Think about this, sis. What other nation of people got power with God? Nobody go to church like we do. We spiritually connected to God, but we don't know how to do it. Right. He said, as a prince, you're a princess, sis. But you got power with God. But how do you how do you activate that power with God? Do you know how to activate that power with God? How do you do that? You gotta follow his commandments. That's right. 
What are some commandments that he gave specifically for women that they had to follow? Because you a princess that got power with God, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you get back with your father? Because you want punishment right now. <laughs> how do you get out of punishment? How do you, how you get out of the corner? Um, Give me first Corinthians 11. I'm gonna give you a simple law, see? You got a hood on that jacket right there? Uh-uh. Okay. Listen to this, see? This is a law. I got, when you was younger, when you used to go to church, did the, did the women have them real big hats on? They was trying to keep this law right here. It was biblical what they were trying to do, but they went overboard being, being, uh, being vain, trying to have the biggest hat. Read that. First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse five. But every woman. That's that three. Starting verse three. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3. So Yo. this is the order of a household. This is how God set up a household. In America today, they try to flip it. They want women to be on top of us. That ain't how it go. That's why our nation the way it is now. Yeah. Just think about it. You think all these bad little kids be running around right now if father was in the household? Think about it. Fathers usually don't play the games like that. We taking belts off. We ain't playing like that. Oh, yeah. Read that. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3. Huh? But I will have you know. That the head of every man is Christ. So the head of us is Christ. We supposed to follow Christ. Whatever he say do, that's what we supposed to do. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. So the same way Christ is our head, we supposed to do whatever Christ tell us to do. Women are supposed to follow their husbands in the same way. Not if he wicked. Now if he's telling you to go kill somebody, no, you don't do that. That's against God's laws. Right. But if he keeping God's laws, you follow whatever he say tell you to do. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. Read. And the head of Christ is God. So the hierarchy. God, Christ, man, woman. That's the order. America tried to flip that. It's 50-50. Think about it, sis. If it was 50-50, you running the household, sis. Because you're going you gonna to be in his ear, hey, well, how about you do it like this? What about like, no, that ain't how it goes, sis. Read. Every man praying or prophesying. So he said every man praying or prophesying. So the men that you see out here, we prophesying. The Bible is coming out. All these men that you see standing up here, they listening to the Bible. They in the midst of prophecy. Read. Having his head covered. So if he got his head covered, that's why you don't see none of these men out here with their head covered, with a hat on, right? This honor of his head. We disrespecting Christ if we have our hat covered, a hat on our head while the scripture's coming up, or we sending up prayers. That's disrespectful to Christ if we got that on. But listen to this, this is for you, read. But every woman uh -huh. that pray or prophesy. So right now you in the midst of prophecy. The Bible is coming out, or if you going home and you about to send up a prayer, it's supposed to cover your head, read. With her head uncovered. With her head what? With her head uncovered. Are you married, sis? If you got, if you reading the Bible, or are you, if you praying, if you read anything like that with your head uncovered, you dishonoring your husband. Did you know that? Read again. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered, dishonor her head. So think about that, sis. Why haven't you ever heard that? You go to church? You never heard that before? Why haven't you heard that? Give me John 832. Give me John 832. Bring it out. This Bring your out. Name, sis. You've been here before and you've been here before. Sir, what's your nationality? I'm not Muslim. You Muslim? What the What's your nationality? That's a that's a religion. What's your nationality? Right. Okay. In your religion, it don't tell you who you are. Who are you? I'm a black man. You a black man. Yes. You know in the Quran it tells you that the children of Israel are God's chosen people. Yes, that's why in the Quran, why? Do you, do you hang around like Arabs? They should be teaching you that you, you from Jacob. So you following, you following Islam in a book, the Quran, it tell you that you need to be following the Bible. But that's your nationality. Go read that for me. John chapter eight, verse 32. We'll show you something today, bro. Bring it out. And ye shall know the truth. So what Christ said? And ye shall know the truth. So Christ said we was gonna know the truth. The truth is, you're supposed to have your head covered when the Bible is coming out. Read. And the truth shall make you free. Because right now, we're in captivity for breaking God's laws. Christ told us if we kept the truth, if we found the truth, it was going to set us free. So what's the truth, sis? We just gave you a law. That's a, that's a, I just gave you an example. I just gave you a hint. What's the truth? Get to me. 119, because Christ said this out his own mouth. He said we was gonna know the truth and the truth is gonna set us free. We in captivity right now for breaking God's law. This is how we get out. Psalm chapter 119, verse 142. Uh -huh. Thy righteousness 
is an everlasting righteousness. But think about that. In church, they don't never talk about righteousness. They never talk about righteousness in the church. So he said, thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. We should always be looking for God, bro. We should always be searching for God, bro. Period. Read. In thy law. And who? In thy law is the truth. So Christ told us we need to be looking for the commandments. That's what we need to be finding. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.